Hello everyone, I'm Brad Pope with the Memphis Tiger Network. Memphis women's basketball returned home Tuesday night to the El Marone Fieldhouse. Stunning number 23 and conference row Rutgers 74-73 in overtime. Rutgers jumped out to an early lead with an 11-2 run in the first three minutes of the game and would hold that lead for the entire first half. Trailing 23-19, Memphis kept clawing. Jasbriel Swain drove in for a layup to cut the deficit to four. After Rutgers sank a foul shot, Ariel Hearn hit back-to-back -back jumpers to pull the Tigers within three, 26-13, their closest margin of the half. Rutgers eventually took a 36-27 lead into the break. In the second half, the Scarlet Knights kept scoring and Memphis kept chipping away at their lead. With under four minutes to play in regulation and trailing by seven, Taylor Williams sank a layup, pulling Memphis within five. Ariel Hearn followed with another two-point bucket, cutting the lead to three. Hearn then sank a three to tie the game at 60 apiece. After Rutgers responded with the jumper, Masana Hope answered for Memphis once again tying the game, this time at 62 all. Moments later, Hope sank a foul shot to give Memphis a one-point lead. Taylor Williams then extended that lead with a three, putting the Tigers ahead 66-62 with 1.31 left to play. Rutgers sank two at the free throw line, cutting the Memphis lead to two, and followed with a jumper to tie the game at 66 and force overtime. In OT, Rutgers jumped out to a three-point lead, hitting five of six from the charity stripe. Not ready to call it a night, Ariel Hearn cut the advantage to one with the layup. Rutgers responded with a two-point bucket, but then sent Memphis's Bria Wilder Cochran to the foul line, where she sank two to keep the Tigers alive, and with one of the 73-72 Scarlet Knight lead. With nine seconds left to play, Asiana Fuqua Bay was fouled on a defensive rebound, sending the sophomore to the line with a chance to take the lead. Fuqua Bay nailed them both to give Memphis what proved to be the winning score of 74-73. In the final seconds, Ariel Hearn picked up a steal to seal the Tiger upset and give head coach Melissa McFerrin her first win over a ranked opponent for the Blue and Gray. We pulled off a huge win and I've got it, I mean our players, they hung together, they stayed together, they took it when I was complaining and yelling at them, uh, but at the end of the day they went out and made a great play, a great defensive stop when it counted. And Asiana Fuqua Bay hit two free throws to win it and just, uh, just a wonderful win for our program. That's that's what we've been waiting for, is to bring somebody into our house of significance and come away with a great win, and I, I couldn't be happier for our players. I was nervous at first because I missed a free throw in the first half and went, missed one at the beginning of the second half, but I knew I needed to hit those two to win the game. So, And my free throws are something I've been working on, so I just took my time and knocked them down. It means a lot. I mean, we, we're going to open open a lot of other teams' eyes and let them know we're competitive in this league. It, it's a, a great win. It means a lot to us, uh, but we know we got to keep working. we got a lot of tough games ahead, so we just got to get back in the game and keep working. Memphis returns to action Saturday, taking on Conference foe Houston with tip-off set for 4 p.m. at the El Marone Fieldhouse. For the Memphis Tiger Network, I'm Brad Pope.